Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. I'm back again with another video and today we're going to do the real review of the Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. All right, otherwise known as the new Epic because we're not going to keep saying that long name over and over. We're just calling it the new Epic. All right, now y'all seen my videos before. Y'all know I don't like wasting time bullshitting and all that. So let's get right into this real review. Now when I get new phones, the first thing I like to do is look at all the stuff about the phone I don't like and then everything about the phone I do like. All right, so let's cover everything about the phone I don't like, which I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, ain't too much stuff. First off, the power button on the side. All right, not really feeling that. You know, everybody knows Samsung likes to put the power button on the side as opposed to putting them on the top like HTC and Motorola and you know other companies. I'm not really feeling it on the side, especially on this phone because this phone is huge. And when you're holding a phone like this and using your apps and doing a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of times you end up pressing the power button while you're holding the phone and killing your screen. All right, is that a big deal? Not really. You know, you'll get used to it after a couple of days of using it every day, especially for dudes that when using the Motorola Photon, dudes that's coming from the old Evo and the new Evo. You know, it's going to take a minute to get used to, but not a big deal. The next thing I don't like about this phone is the build quality. Now, don't get me wrong. The phone looks beautiful. It's nice and sleek. It's super thin. You know, all blacked out around the edges and everything. Real nice looking. But the feel of the phone is that cheap plastic Samsung trademark. You know, that cheap feel. I just, I just don't feel it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you look at the back, you can see it's a nice textured look. You know, nice glossy plastic. It looks beautiful, but it just feels cheap. And if you drop this phone, it's definitely a wrap. All right? So the build quality, I'm not really feeling. And the last thing I'm not really feeling about this phone is the wireless radio. All right? Now... Look at the bars. A lot of times on this phone, the bars go up and down quick. You know, when you go on the ground, you go to two bars. A lot of times, you know, it's unstable. It's, it's not like the Motorola Photon or the Evo that you always got full bars. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at the Photon. All right. Photon, you always got full bars or one less bar. But the Motorola Photon, everybody knows, best wireless radio in the game right now. All right. So that's the last thing about the phone I'm not feeling the wireless radio. But is it a big deal? Not really. I haven't had drop calls and all that, but I just noticed that the bars is always down. And I noticed sometimes when I go underground, you know, you got one bar and it's hard to use the internet. All right, but not a big deal. Next, let's get into everything about the phone I do like, which is a whole bunch of stuff, all right? First off, the screen. Now, have everybody seen, you know, the old Samsung with the Super AMOLED screens? The Super AMOLED Plus screen is even better, all right? It's extra bright. All of the colors are rich. You know, if you got something that's black, it's extra dark. It, do it doesn't have that, you know, that HTC Evo, that washed out black look. Now, nah, the blacks on this phone, they show black. All of the colors are bright. This, the screen is a go. There's only one screen right now on the market that's better than this, and everybody knows that's the iPhone 4. That's the only screen that's out better than this phone right now. Now, also, when you got this big, giant 4.5-inch screen, you get the big icons. And let me pull up this HTC Evo, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, you see the size difference in the icons? Huge difference in the size, all right? Now, let's pull up the menu so you can see also difference in the menu. All right? As you can see, everything is just bigger, easier to press. Easier to find stuff. I mean, it's just better when it's bigger like this. All right? So that's one thing about the phone I'm definitely feeling is the screen. The screen is a definite go. All right? Now, another thing I'm feeling about this phone is the speed. All right? Now, this is the fastest phone that I've used yet. The fastest Android phone on the market. Trust me. And y'all already know I got all of them. This is the fastest one. And I challenge you right now. Go look on YouTube. Look at a whole bunch of different epic videos. Find anybody that says this phone lags, all right? This phone has no lag to it whatsoever. And that's with all of the applications, even the third-party apps. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Now, I'm not going to turn this into a big comparison video, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with this one right here. All right, now look at the Agile Lock, all right? Now, I'm going to pull it up on the Photon. Same Agile Lock. Now, watch when I open it up. Watch how long it takes to get to the home screen, which is not long, but just keep your eye on the home screen. All right, you see that little transition right there? You know, that wouldn't be really considered lag, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, let's take a look at the Epic. 
pops right open. And that's the same thing with all of the apps. When you're using your Facebook, your Foursquare, your Twitter, as soon as you click on it, everything pops right open on this, all right? No lag whatsoever. This is a go, all right? Next, let's talk about the camera. The camera on this phone is a major win, all right? Now, y'all seen the old Epic. That camera was one of the best that I used before this. This camera is right up there with it. Now, don't get me wrong. The video quality, y'all seen the um, video tests and all that. I've been using this new bootleg program to upload videos and all that. So I think that has something to do with it. That's why it's taking so long to convert and it's, st it's still stuck on 240 and all that. Trust me, I, I shot the video in, in um, high res and I'll show you right now. All right, so let's pull up the camera. All right, so this is the video camera. So let's go to the settings. You see the resolution. All right, now the video didn't really do it justice. Let me see if I can pull it up on the phone and, and you can see what I'm talking about. Trust me, this video is beautiful. Hi, right, yo, what's up? It's your boy Floss. Crystal clear. Camera test real quick. So let's see what it look like. Beautiful so video. Real quick. Trust me, when you're watching movies or you're watching YouTube videos, beautiful. All right. Now the sound, the sound gets a little choppy here and there. Not the best sound, you know, out of any phone I use so far. Definitely not the best sound, but. The camera, when you're taking your still pictures, let me see if I got any still pictures on here. All right, look at the still pictures. Beautiful quality. When you do a pinch to zoom, it'll take a second and then get crystal clear. All right? Beautiful, beautiful pictures. All right? Trust me, the camera on this phone is a major win. All right? Next, let's talk about the UI. Now, a lot of people, they say they wasn't feeling the Samsung, you know, the TouchWiz and all that. Me, personally, I wasn't feeling the TouchWiz, the, the TouchWiz 3.0 and all that. The TouchWiz 3.5 was a little bit better. This TouchWiz is a go. Like I said before now, when you're in this tech game, you can't be with this, oh, I only like HTC Sense, Sense is the best and everything else is whack. Nah, everything else is stepping up. The Moto Blur, y'all already seen that, the MAP, that done stepped up. And the TouchWiz stepped up major, all right? This is a major step up in the TouchWiz. Let's see if I got any TouchWiz apps on here or uh, widgets. Like, let's take a look at this TouchWiz widget. This is like a news widget. So this is just a regular widget, you know, all, it keeps you, um, you know, up to date with all the news going on and all that. You see you got the um, active applications, which is like a task manager. So I could click on that, close everything I'm not using. Let's see what else we got on here. That's um, y'all already seen the voice on the um, unboxing video. That's a touch with joint. Also, let's take a look at the contacts. All right. Now, when you're in your contacts, say I just want to call my dude, I could just switch over and call him. All right. Or the same thing with the text message. And I'll show you that right now. Same thing. If I want to send somebody a text message real quick, I can just look at their name slide it over and send them a message all right that's touch with now you see my keyboard this is aftermarket that's the perfect keyboard but when you're using the 4.5 inch screen look how big that keyboard is all right so that's a major go right there major the ui on this phone is a win what else the battery life now a lot of people been hitting me up asking me how's the battery life i'm gonna keep it real with y'all the battery life on this even though the screen is bigger and, you know, if you put the brightness up and all that, you figure that the battery's going to be, you know, less. This battery lasts all day long, all right? And this is the, the factory battery, not the extended joint. Lasts all day long. Fresh out the box, way better than the Evo, way better than the Photon, way better than the BlackBerry. And this is fresh out the box, all right? So this battery on this phone is a definite go, all right? Now let's take a look at the web. And I'll show you something else that's um, touch with, all right? Let's see if I got anything bookmarked in here yet. All right. So matter of fact, let's pull up um, let's pull up a four square. And I'll show y'all another feature that they got with the TouchWiz. You see, look at the wireless radio. See, that's what I was talking about. You know, a lot of times you'll go down to two bars and then you'll pop back up, but it'll take a long time to load something up when you're underground. Now, when you're outside and all that, phone is extra fast, but wireless radio, not really feeling. All right, so now here goes my four square. Now, let me see if I can get in a position where you can see this. When, you, when you're using your web, 
you hold the two fingers, you can zoom in and out. Can you see that? Zooming in and out just from moving the phone. All right, so you see my four square page? I just hold down, I can zoom in and out. Trust me, when you get used to using that, that's major, all right? That's a major plus. Keeps you from having to do all that picture zooming, especially when you, you know, you might be talking on a different phone, you're doing something else. You just hold that down and you can zoom in and out. And that's the same thing with the widgets on the home screen. Say I want to move this widget, I can just hold it and tilt the phone to move the widgets around, all right? So the, the TouchWiz 4.0, trust me, it's a big step up from the last one. It's a major go, all right? Now I'm gonna show you something else, a different uh, something else that came on this phone stock. It's called Kaz Air, and I don't know if I, you can see that. The Kaz Air. When you click on that, this is hot now. All right. Now, if you're on the Wi-Fi network, you just Wi-Fi whatever Wi-Fi network you put on, you know, that's on your computer. You click on that on your phone and it syncs it up to your computer. So now I could link up with my, my computer, put the phone down, I could add music to my phone. This is all wireless. I could go on my computer, download songs straight to the phone. I could send text messages from on my computer to people's phones and all that. This is a go. This comes stock on the phone, all right? So that, that, that's a definite win, all right? Also with the UI, everybody's seen the drop-down menu. You know, you got all your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 4G, you know, put the phone on vibrate. That's all from the drop down menu. And you can also just clear everything out. This phone is so hot. All right, trust me. Everything on it has that nice black look. When you go to your messaging, and everything is black. When you go to your emails, you know, this is the Gmail app, but let's go to my regular email. You know, you get the black emails. I mean, this phone is just a, a straight up win. All right, just a straight up win. Now, Let's take a look at phone to tab matchup. All right, now this is for my extreme ballers out there. Not you know, if you if you don't understand what this is about, my ballers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Right? How does this match up with your tab? Because if you're gonna go and get the Galaxy, you need to get the Galaxy tab also. So let's pull that out and see what it look like. All right, now you see the Galaxy tab, and you see the phone. Look at the look at look at the width. Look how thin both of these are together. All right. So now you get yourself a little case like this. Now this is the one I got from the launch date. This case is so thin, you drop it right in there. It's so thin, you can even drop your phone right in there also. All right? Trust me, phone to tab matchup, major win on this one, all right? Major win. On a scale of one to 10, I'm still giving this phone a solid 10, all right? Take it from me, this is the best Android phone you could get right now. Now, a lot of my dudes been asking me, you know, if I'm going to Sprint right now, I got the Evo 3D, is it worth trading it, is it worth selling my Evo 3D and getting this Galaxy S? My answer to you is definitely, all right? Especially if you don't really use the 3D and all that. Out of the top three from Sprint right now, you got, you got the Galaxy Epic, you got the Photon, and you got the Evo 3D, all right? In that order. All right, so right now the Evo 3D, don't get me wrong, if you got any one of these three phones, you're still sitting on the top of the food chain, you're still winning, but overall, the Galaxy S2 is the best phone out right now. Me personally, if not just for the no lag factor, you know, that's the main thing I hate about Android phones, is the lag. When you get yourself this Galaxy, that's gonna, you know, that's gonna make you wanna go back to Android. Everybody who had Android, and the phone was lagging and all that, and you went to iPhone and, or, you know, you went to a different OS, trust me, you come back to Android now and try this Epic, this is a win, all right? This is the closest phone that's to iPhone right now, the closest phone that's as smooth as an iPhone, all right? And look at the difference, though. Look at the size difference. Now, me personally, you know, if the iPhone was 4.5 inches, this would probably be the best phone in the universe, but... This phone is, is just too small for me. It's hard for me to text and all that. Not really feeling it. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is floor certified. I'm stamping it down with a seal of approval. This is a win, all right? Solid 10. Shout out to all my dudes who follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter. Shout out to all the Google gangsters and all that. Y'all know how we moving. Check the face. Check my Matter of fact, if you want to get down with the Google gangsters, look at my YouTube homepage. Like that Facebook link, all right? It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch y'all in, in a little while. I'm going to do a couple of comparison videos between the Epic the Photon, the Evo, and all that. We're going to compare these. We're going to get into a little bit deep, all right? It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch y'all on the next trip. Deuces.